Welcome back to Simple Machine. I am Bree, the marketing coordinator here, and I'm sitting down with our president, John Morrison. Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're going to be talking about the 20 tips for your 2020 marketing strategy. And so we're going to be splitting this up into two parts because it's such a great vlog. We really want to dive deep into um, each point that we've made and we'll link the entire article down below. But so part one is going to be just talking about gearing up for your 2020 um, marketing strategy, gearing up for 2020. And um, so we're going to be talking about the different steps for doing that. So the first one will just be to know your customers and know your business. So can you talk a little bit about that? Absolutely, yeah. Definitely, um, when you, you're looking into 2020, you're starting a, you know, a new year as a business owner, looking at marketing, um, looking at your entire business, um, you want to make sure you know who your business is. Um, make sure you know as, as you go through your business process from year to year, things will change. If you have new services, new offerings, new deals, new pricing, whatever it might be, um, you need to understand who you are um, in that uh, perspective and, and really you know, understand your audience as well. Know who your customers are and you know, know that, um, you know, understand who they are because if you, don't, if, you, if you don't understand that going into your marketing strategy, you know, your marketing strategy is gonna be all geared towards the wrong set of, uh, the wrong audience and so it's not gonna be effective. So, Really coming out with the bang is really going to be planning out. You know who are we again? Every year, you know, sit back as a team, as a business owner, as a marketing coordinator, or whoever you are in the company that will be looking at the marketing. Sit back and say, you know, who are who we are? Uh, what exactly are we doing? What has changed? And um, you know, looking at your audience as well. Yeah. So along with that, knowing that just your business is changing, services, and knowing your audience. Um, our second thing is continuing that, is just to understand that your audience will change. So can you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, audiences can change from year to year. Uh, definitely, you know, businesses can, um, can you know, just, just through the, the, the ways of business can change who their audience is. And so going into a new year, understand, you know, if your audience has changed from the previous year, What's different? Um, is there a new demographic, a new targeting uh, that you need to take approach to? Uh, if you do have that new service, maybe it's not um, you know so much that your core audience has changed, but you have a new audience to look at and plan for. And so, really understand who your audience is um, and how they've changed from year to year. Looking into 2020 based on uh, 2019 is really going to help you. Um, you know, again, understand yourself, understand your audience, and really gear up for a good year. Yeah, absolutely. So another really important thing just, you know, at the beginning of the year is to establish a clear identity for your business. So can you tell us a little bit about why this is important? Definitely, yeah. I mean, uh, as a business, you want to make sure your brand is everywhere. Um, you want to make sure your, your business cards are refreshed, your signage, if it needs to refresh, you know, look at all those items and make sure your image is, is, is fresh, is clear. Um, people understand who you are and your brand image is you know, identifiable. So uh, really uh, you know, focusing on that, getting that set up going into a new year is helpful. Um, if that's all out of whack, you know, maybe you have a whole fleet of trucks and, and the, you know, the, the vinyl is, is you know, worn off and stuff like that, you know, look at your fleet and plan out for a re rewrap in the year or you know, same with signage, same with marketing collateral. Um, you know, look at all that stuff. Are you out of uh, brochures? Are you out of things like that? So really understand that. Is your logo updated? Do you need to update that on your collateral or anything like that? Um, you know, really understand. And then look at design changes. Design changes, trends happen from year to year. So make sure uh, your brand aligns, your promotional items align with uh, current design trends. That's so important. Um, so the next step we have is just to document your content marketing strategy. So can you tell us what we mean by this and why that's important? Yeah, it's really just the you know beneficial to document your marketing strategy overall. You know, once you have all this kind of geared up, planned out, um, you just want to write down everything. Make sure people um, are aware of the tasks that are in front of them, and they know what they're you know supposed to be doing coming into the new year your budgets are in place, make sure uh, tasks and protocols and um, procedures are in place and just make sure you know everything's documented and laid out in a clear pathway so you know what to um, you 
know, you know what to expect, you know what to do, and what that plan of action is coming into into 2020. And you know, it's not set in stone. You can adjust and um, you know, kind of pivot as the year changes based on the things that happen. But to have that clear plan and just have your mindset on a, a plan of action with your marketing strategy and have it all written down, documented, and have everyone uh, in line, you know, will really help you uh, execute. Yeah. That's great. Um, so the next thing we want to highlight is the importance of prioritizing your customers' data privacy. So can you tell us about that? Yeah. So before you start, you know, doing anything as far as um, you know, as far as advertising, as far as collecting information, um, data has really, really changed over the last year. Uh, and so make sure the way you're collecting information, the way you're storing information, make sure your customer data is um, up to par, how you're storing that is up to par. So, you know, contact uh, an IT company, a web development company like us for your website, as far as infrastructure for your customer uh, internally database, make sure that's uh, being done correctly. So just make sure your, your, your business is being, um, you know, you're being mindful of all of that and being mindful of your customer's data and how that technology, how technology has been changing and you know, how we're supposed to be collecting, keeping, and storing that data to be um, fair and uh, treat uh, people like people. Yeah, absolutely. So diving more into the website side of gearing up for 2020, can you tell us why um, businesses should be auditing their website to get ready? Yeah, definitely. So, you know, again, before you start doing anything um, with, you know, spending any money really is, is what I'm going after. Before you start spending any money, you want to make sure everything is in line and you know, your website, of course, along with your brand is going to be very important, making sure that everything, you know, there's no more broken links. Um, so do a good an audit on uh, the technical side of things, the front end side of things, you know, are, are, um, are things outdated, you know, maybe pricing or stuff like that. Um, can you update things that are, you know, change years on the website that can be updated? Just make sure that from a technical perspective, is it up to par for Google standards? Is it loading fast enough? Is it mobile friendly? You know, all those things. Uh, just really do a good audit on your website from an informational standpoint, technical standpoint, design standpoint. Uh, just understand that that is your hub for your marketing. And so um, before you start the year, make sure that your, your website is, uh, is up to par. Yeah, absolutely. And so another really big um, website topic we want to talk about is SEO and just understanding the power of SEO. So can you tap into that a little yeah, bit? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Again, you know, before you start spending money, look at what you already have. Look at your content that you've, you know, if you're an established business or if you've been um, working on your website for a couple of years, you have content that is on there currently that you can uh, adjust, you can, you can uh, improve, you know, add to. And so really um, focusing on your SEO, improving your SEO, looking at your current search engine optimization and seeing if there's anything to do to fix it um, will really help you uh, just getting your website again set up um, for a good year. Yeah, absolutely. And that'll just help all around like drive traffic without spending the money like you mentioned yes. already and just really organically increase yeah. you by just understanding SEO. Definitely. Um, so the next thing we want to talk about is just the old content that you mentioned. If you are an established business, can you tell us a little bit about why we would repurpose the old content? Sure, yeah. Um, you know, the old content, it's there. It's still relevant. Um, you know, reshare it, re put it out there again and, and add to it. You know, nowadays there's so many blogs out there. There's so much content that's being um, introduced into the search engine engines. And so looking at the content you have and improving that, adding to it, um, adding more statistics, you know, adding more paragraphs explaining or adding more detail to an existing blog article or an existing page will help benefit you. You know, quantity over, uh, quality over quantity is extremely important nowadays. And, um, you know, Google's really paying attention to that. So longer blog articles instead of more articles uh, frequently. Same with your website pages. Um, look at that, repurpose that, reshare it, and get that out there because, you know, why reinvent the wheel if you already have good content, make it even better, and, and you know, repurpose it. Yeah, absolutely. So talking about um, sharing that content, can you tell us a little bit of about a little bit more about the importance of um, sharing these freely and just being consistent, staying on top of that? 
Definitely, yeah. You want to make sure um, once you are repurposing this content, you identify the good content, refresh the good content, and then you know the new content that we'll be talking about in part two. Make sure you're sharing everything. Um, be out there, you know. Be consistent. Be relevant. Um, you, if you're not uh, staying active on social media, if you're not publishing blog articles, um, you know, people, you're you're gonna fall off the map. So you have to stay fresh and and share freely. So. Uh, we really recommend you know, once you identify stuff that you already have, stuff that you're going to be pushing out, put it out there. You know, share it multiple times over the course of months, and you know, don't do it too much. But it's okay to to you know repurpose uh, something and, and just get it out there and really promote what you're you're trying to, to do. Yeah, absolutely. So the last thing we want to talk about is just to work your referrals. So can you tell us a little bit more about this? Yep, just like you know, we were talking about this whole video, use what you already have. Um, use your existing custom, customer base to uh, tap into referrals, talk to them and see if they know anyone. And uh, you know, they're not gonna give you referrals unless you kind of reach out, ask for them, send out postcards asking for referrals to your existing clients and you know, offer them maybe a special or a discount or um, you know, money in return, whatever it might be. Um, you know, just tap into your existing client base, the people that trust you, the people that um, you know, pay you every every month or weekly or whatever it is, the, the clients that are already um, making your business run, um, use them to help you grow your business. It'll be way better, way uh, more efficient than trying to gather you know, customers from scratch. Yeah, absolutely. So this is the end of part one. That is your steps to help you um, get ready and gear up for 2020 and stay tuned for part two where we're going to dive more into the actions and what you need to be doing um, marketing strategy wise with um, your 2020 marketing strategy. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks guys.